What happens when you put a really expensive lens, a really good lens, on a cheap camera? What's going on guys? Hope you guys are doing good. We're getting the last bit of a literal hurricane right now in North Carolina, so sorry for the wind noise in this video. But our power's out at home and I figured it'd be a good time to get out and try to make a video with another T3i body that I just picked up. Before we get started, I'm running Magic Lantern on my T3i and I'm using absolute zero sharpness. So what you're going to see in this video is the lens and the camera. There's no digital sharpening. The lens I'm using right now is the 24mm f2.8 pancake lens. Let's switch over to the Sigma lens now. And here's pretty much that same shot with the Sigma lens. I've got the aperture closed down to f2.8. So both of the lenses were at the same aperture, but this is a pretty old lens. This thing came out in like 2013 or 2014. And it was a really big deal at the time because it was a zoom lens that allowed you to keep the aperture at f1.8. And it's also an internally zoomed lens, which means it didn't change shape while zooming. And so this is with the lens opened all the way up to 18 millimeters, which is one of the big reasons why I like this lens. It allows me to use a remote focus on my old T3i and still stay pretty close to the camera so that I can see the screen. But there is some pros and cons with this lens. Let's start with the pros. Number one, the image looks awesome. I don't think there is a lens available that can compete with this still. Pro number two is this thing is built like a tank. If you buy one of these used, chances are this thing is going to last you a lifetime. And if you buy one of these new, unless you're abusing your equipment, this thing is definitely going to last probably as long as we're going to be shooting with digital cameras. These things are some of the most well-built lenses available. And that kind of leads us into pro number three. This lens can be adapted to almost any camera. The EF mount and the EFS lens mount are probably the most widely used on earth. Personally, I wish Canon would have just kept the EF mount. That's a, probably a different video for a different day. But even since moving on, this lens is still being adapted to almost every camera body out there today. But there is some cons. There's always cons with stuff. And con number one would have to be that this lens is expensive. I picked this one up for $400 used and you can find these new for about 600 bucks. I definitely would not pay over 600 bucks for a new one of these. And for a used one, I don't think I would pay over 450. But if you're somebody like me using a $90 Canon T3i body, somebody like myself that has bills that they have to worry about paying, that's a big investment. But if you do buy one of these and you have buyer's remorse, they hold their value well and they're pretty easy to sell for what you have invested. Con number two would have to be that this thing is pretty big. This thing is pretty heavy. This is a chunky lens. If you're not using this on a bigger camera body, it's gonna feel weird. It's gonna be front heavy. It's gonna want to fall. Your camera's not gonna be very balanced with this lens on there. What I like to do is run battery grips on my camera bodies. But if you're using this on something like a mirrorless, a small mirrorless, I would definitely think about getting a cage and making sure that your camera is secure because this is a very heavy lens. And con number three would have to be the lens motors. They're a little bit too loud to run a camera with continuous autofocus and mount your microphone on top of your camera. It's just a little too loud. It's like a weird muffled clicking noise. What I would suggest doing is either booming your microphone off of your camera and using something like a small rig magic arm or just using what I'm using today, a wireless microphone kit. That's the workaround for the loud autofocus motors. So let me know what you guys think about the Sigma 18 and 35 down in the comment section. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. That's going to be it from me today. I'll see you guys later.